Alex reveals plan for UFC 301. Alex Paja made it clear earlier this year that he plans to set the record for the fastest turnaround between title, defenses a record currently held by Ronda Rousey despite having a UFC 300 title defense scheduled against Jamal. Hill Paja still has his sights set on fighting at the upcoming UFC 301 card in Brazil, with training camp underway for what he hopes will be his first successful title defense, the glory. Kickboxing Hall of Famer opened up on his training for the fight, as well as his plans for a quick turnaround at UFC 301. If everything works out right first, I have to win this fight right I work with the reality I can lose I can win, either can happen, but I am doing everything so I can leave with a victory. If everything works out I can do it I can say to you guys every fight I've done with the USC I had the conditions. The ability to do it if I had to fight with any other opponent, I would do the trainings I've been doing I'm doing a lot of grappling training a lot of people think I don't because I don't post a lot, but I'm training well and I'm prioritizing that part. Given that Paja has been working on his grappling it sounds as though he's been preparing for a potential fight with Magum and as well as his UFC 300 opponent Jamal Hill. The turnaround between events of course is quite literally just 21 days meaning that the champion may be cutting things. Pretty close if he's able to get the job. Done in April next up let's take a look at Ariel Helwani reacts to Conor McGregor situation. Conor McGregor's long-awaited return fight has has continued to be postponed while there was initially talk of him returning late last year or at the UFC 300 card and April once he had completed six months of testing, neither came to fruition with Dana White shifting the focus of McGregor's return to the fall, with just two fights left on his contract many including Ariel Helwani are of the mindset that the UFC may be icing McGregor out for fear of their biggest star leading the sport and the negotiations for their next broadcasting deal and entering into the world of boxing thanks to interest from Saudi Arabia during a recent episode of the MMA Hour. Ariel Helwani spoke with SBG Ireland's John Kavanaugh about the situation after Nate Diaz spoke up in support of his former foe. I think that he's being niced out, and I'd love to see Nate speak on his behalf. I don't know if you saw his how about that saying free Connor, and I know there's more to it, and I know he has a lot going on, but to me comparing it to the world of boxing Anthony Joshua Tyson Fury. Don't say I hope I get the call, he needs to be shown greater respect, he decides. If it there's no if there's no 302 301. 303 on that date make a make a number make a show for him he has done so much for this sport it blows my mind with McGregor recently indicating that after doing promotional work for Roadhouse he plans to get back to training full time and plenty of pressure from the MNA community it'll be interesting to see if there's any movement on McGregor's return next up let's take a look at Hannah Omono responds to Patty Pimple. Call out Hanet Omono was recently booked for a UFC 300 bout against Jalen Turner. However, the fan favorite recently found himself on the receiving end of the call out from striking skisser Patty Pimblet with Pimblet and his wife, expecting twins right around the time of UFC 300. The BD's return has been targeted for the summer, as he indicated. He wants to return to action and fight Mono in June or July after firing back on social media. Pato Mono recently took aim at Pimmel in a video for his YouTube channel. I just saw a video of Pi Pim calling me out and I have response. I have considerations to do about what he's saying. The guy is delusional. He think he called the shots just because UFC protects him and he was saying that he can't fight on UFC 301 because he have kids on the way and I'm not going to on that but I know why you don't go to Brazil and it's not because of your family it's because you just want to fight in places that you can control so that's why you're trying to fight and you know. UFC is trying to protect you from the real fights of course before the two compete against one another Muno or first step into the octagon against Jalen Turner who sits as a pretty sizable betting favorite on DraftKings. Atka 245, while Mono sits as a plus 2 200 underdog. Next, let's take a look at Shan Strickland reveals sad news former UFC middleweight champion Shan Strickland has been open about his mental health struggles in the past and his troubled youth while Strickland's openness has been praised by the MMA community. All is not well for the outspoken and oftentimes controversial catapulted into the featherweight 
Championship since then Tapra has expressed interest in potentially moving up to lightweight and challenging Islam, make of however make of his advised Tapura to focus on his division and specifically on facing Mzar Evlov who poses a challenging stylistic matchup for him make of expressed confusion over Toe's desire to call out fighters from different weight classes and suggested that Tapura concentrate on his immediate contenders he believes that Ev presents a tough challenge for Tapura and could potentially defeat him due to his style while Tapura contemplates his next move rumors have circulated about a potential UFC event in Sigbane where Tapura resides this could set the stage for his first title defense although former champion Alexander Volkanovsky is also vying for a rematch despite Mekachev's recommendation for Topura to focus on his division make himself is eyeing a move up to welterweight for a potential bout against Leon Edwards however he had to decline an opportunity for UFC 300 due to Ramadan obligations. So that's all from today's video if you enjoyed it remember to leave a like subscribe and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos.